Come on, baby.
Hello, I'm Tanya Jones, developer and still full owner of On Demand Pain Relief Rub. It's exciting and humbling to see how On Demand is growing and evolving while still being the same product you trust, purchased, and love. The Pain Rub is 100% still the same, 100% drug free, 100% all natural, and I am 100% still involved. I created On Demand Pain Relief Rub after I began suffering with my own chronic pain. And yes, the results have been amazing. You may see the new branding, the new look, and the new website, all coming from me, the same person that has a heart to help others deal with their chronic pain. Go ahead, place your order, or stop by any of the locations to pick up yours. I thank you so much for your support and trust. I am Tanya Jones, 100% owner of On Demand Pain Relief Rub. Memphis and the surrounding areas, Regroup Upscale Thrift Boutique has opened in the heart of Frazier. We carry many name brands ranging from various sizes and styles. With new arrivals of clothing, accessories, gift items, and more with pricing starting as low as $3. All the proceeds help empower the Husband Institute Boys Mentoring Program. So come and shop at Regroup Upscale Thrift Boutique located at 3754 North Watkins. Great prices, great people, great products. Hi, I'm Tommy Shaw with Shaw House Buyers. I want to buy your Memphis area house in as-is condition today. I buy houses, duplexes, apartments, commercial buildings, and land. I pay cash and pay all of your closing costs. Call Tommy Shaw now at 901-380-1000. Or visit me online at shawhousebuyers.com. The best time to do something that you know you have to do is right now. You've heard that God will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies? Well, God has done it for Crystal Blair. Crystal was working across the street for a mattress company. They let her go, and God allowed her to take her savings and open up a furniture store right across the street. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing 901 Discount Mattresses, 7166 Winchester at Germantown Road, 106. Queen Size Mattresses, $199 up. King Size Mattresses, $299 and up. Brand new mattresses, brand names. No credit is necessary. You need a mattress, go see my girl Crystal at 901 Discount Mattresses, 7166 Winchester at Germantown Road. Give her a call at 901-218-7118. That's 901-218-7118. And lay down in comfort tonight. If you want to hear the best in blues and southern soul, I invite you to join me daily from 6 a.m. until 10 Central Standard Time on four radio stations in Mississippi. WXTN 1000 AM, WONG 105.5 FM, WONG 1150 AM, all simulcast from WAGR 102.5 in Lexington, Mississippi. But what you didn't know is that you can also hear me on the radio in Memphis on AM 1600, WMQM from 6 until 9, Monday through Friday. Out of earshot of any of these radio stations, download the TuneIn app and listen to the entire show from 6 until 9. Just tune in to WAGR 102.5. Become a morning fan. Tune in to the Cussing Pastor Blues Network broadcasting live Monday through Friday. Alcee Community, Bethel Grove, Orange Mound, Hillview area, airport area, mamas, grandmamas, aunties, and parental guardians. Are you looking for a daycare center for your child or children where you know that they will be safe and that they are in a learning 
atmosphere? Well, you need to call Just Us Kids Daycare, located at 2244 Alsey in the Curve. Just Us Daycare has been a staple of the Alsey community for over 20 years. They have the curriculum that applies to learning and growth even when your child is away from the center. They have a loving and nurturing staff. Call the center's director. Call Vicki Jones directly at 828-8467. That's 901-828-8467. Just Us Kids Daycare accepts DHS certificates, private pay, sign on bonuses. They have CDA trained staff trained through Labona Hospital to better serve the children that may have special needs. And most of all, they have free transportation throughout various parts of the city. Give them a call right now at 901 901- 828-8467. That's 901-828-8467. If you want to know, watch Thaddeus if you want to grow. Ask Thaddeus, he will let you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch Thaddeus, it's the Thaddeus that you show. And just when you thought it was safe, it is absolutely positively not. And good evening, good Thursday evening, the 14th day of uh, December. It's a beautiful day. It's, it, man, it's a blessed day. In fact, any day that you are. Uh, able to get up and get out. God is good. I did something today I hadn't did all week. I left home. I did. I, I, uh, I left home and did something I haven't done in a long time. And that's went to a meeting, not in a announced meeting, but a meeting involving D.A. Steve Moroy. I was invited to the meeting. It was at the Pursuit of God Church in Frazier. I was invited by the pastor, my friend, my brother, and my pastor, Pastor Ricky Floyd. I um, I was invited to pull power on Monday, and I really had to make up my mind if I really wanted to be there. Like I said, it was not a open meeting. But I 
with that. Basically, because that was some things I wanted to say to Steve Moroy. And there was a question <laughs> that I wanted to ask him. Especially when I thought I knew the answer. And the answer was exactly what I thought it would be. I went there and it was, it was I'm sure he was surprised to see me there. But it was it was a good meeting, Pastor um, Floyd. Thank you for and all the things that you're trying to do in the uh, Frazier area. All of the property that the church has acquired, and the apartment complex the strip mall that you have and the industry you got the questions see the woods what questions do you have thank you for doing ministry in that area and this damn fool that keeps calling my phone from the block number. You you know, you, you you're just a destructive individual. I'm gonna put that app back on my phone where it identifies even blocked numbers. In fact, uh going back to Pastor Floyd in fact, I have another friend who wants to open a funeral home in the um, Frazier area. Uh, my good friend Eric Dunn. So we're, we're trying to get that worked out. Where he needs about 2,000 square feet. In fact, he got a large funeral mm -hmm. service on this weekend. The Bowen family has entrusted his services. They got a little body snatching for him also. Okay. Um, but it was a very interesting. I don't need to speed up. I'm at my pace. Okay. I ain't in no damn hurry. If you're in a hurry, get the fuck off. Cut your little TV, radio, or whatever you have. If you are in a hurry, get off. She do the 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 thing and and the DA. Mm. We talked about his, I was there, Pastor Stacy Spencer was there, Dr. Earl Fisher was there, uh, Bishop Brandon Porter was there, uh, Pastor... I think his first name is Michael Ellis, the Impact Church, and as well as I know the other preacher, I can't think of his name now, ran, recently ran for city council, and lost to who I think is going to be a very weak council person. Uh, that Walker girl. Can't take his name now. 
it was a very lively conversation, and you know it was lively if, if I was there. We talked about the reform, his attitude reforming. Brother, you keep calling my phone. What the fuck you want? You, you keep... Oh, okay. Call your mama. Go, go out there to the cemetery and climb up a pole and climb your mama. Call your mama. One of the things, my major question, because... We talked about his PR. We we don't hear nothing good that's going on. You you say that there are good things going on in Memphis. We don't hear them. And we discussed the period of there is more information that needs to get. To the community, so I, I asked uh, the DA. I said, "Man, you, you you scared to talk to me, brother? Brother, you, you, are you scared to talk to me? Are you?" You just want to be a distraction. Are you just another black man that that wants to be a distraction? I'm, I'm giving. I, I answer the phone. You ain't even got. You ain't even got the nerve to, to talk to me. Come on, brother. You, you, you got something you want to say to me? Huh, sir? Do you have anything that you want to say to me? Uh, okay, you got that against Matthews. What you got to say to me? I, uh, I, I can't hear you, bro. What you got to say? Are you scared of me? Sir, are you scared to talk to me? I, I, I can't hear you, brother. So you do all of this calling, you 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 just call to be distractive. I'm giving you I'm giving you an audience, man. So uh, it, it, the cowardness in you is showing, brother. Uh, you're who? No, I didn't tell you you could call me. I didn't tell you to call in. But you got to, I'm saying, you, you have a, listen, you have a platform, so I can call you at any time. No, no, sir, no, sir, you can't. No, sir, you can't call me at any, sir. See, you, you are a silly black man. Okay? You're a silly black man that you, you have no intellect. Uh, so you, you, you call to be a distraction. You don't call to uh, motivate or speak on issues. Your thing is that you don't like me. You hate me. You jealous of me. You you jealous of me. You want Sir, pick up your phone. No, sir, pick up your phone and talk to me. Cut, cut all that. Cut, cause we can't hear you, brother. I'm saying I'm disinclined to agree with you. I'm not intellectually deficient. So why do so so why why do you consistently just call me 40, 50 times a night? I'm a parishioner. What's your name? You're not a parishioner, brother. You. You're not a parishioner. Do I don't you? go to the conventional churches. Okay, what church do you go to? 
you ain't you, you, so are are you saying you well, listen, listen, I attend I attend via via YouTube and sometimes we just have stuff pertaining to maybe you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying stuff pertaining to uh the development of the so what, I, bro, but brother, let me ask you one question. Why do you consistently, during my program, ring my phone? Maybe I got a problem with that, man. Do what now? I said, maybe I got a problem with that. Okay, then why don't you stop it? I'm talking about issues in our community and you are, as a black man, you, your only objects, object, object is to be is a distraction from me talking. I be seeing, I see, brother, I be seeing you call. I just don't answer. Let me ask you a question. After uh, uh, Adam and Eve had Seth, right? Man, do you... Do, wait a minute, man. Do you see me talking about any fucking Adam and Eve? Huh? Oh, man. That's not how you choose up the Yes, sir. I don't give a... Wait a minute. Let me tell you something, man. I don't give a fuck about Adam and Eve. Moses, Paul, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Moses, Abraham, Isaac, wait a minute. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. No, sir. I don't. No, I don't serve their God. You said you don't. Mm -mm, I don't. Okay. Okay. Well, what God do you worship? All, 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 what God do you worship? Sir. Why is it? No, I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you to, to be in your personal life. I'm just asking because if you don't worship the same God that I worship, I can no longer attend your service. I can no longer watch your. your okay. Well, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, so, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, so, wait a minute, hey, brother, so you tell me if I don't serve the same God that you serve, you can't watch me no more? Yeah. Okay, well, okay, okay, brother, 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 I don't serve the God that you serve, so don't watch me no more. Oh, you never answered. I, I'm telling you right now, you said that if I don't serve the God that you serve, uh, that you ain't gonna watch me. So I don't watch. I I don't watch. I don't have to give you a clear answer. I don't serve the God that you serve. And you you've all you've already told me that if I don't serve the God that you serve, you ain't gonna watch me. So I don't serve the God that you serve. So don't watch me. I don't give a fuck about Abraham, uh, Isaac, or Jacob, Joseph. Uh, the minor prophets, the major prophets. Everybody look up to you, man. I don't know if you know it or not. In Memphis, Tennessee, everybody look up to you, man. You don't, you don't know it or not, man. It's not, it's not, you know. Uh, so, but, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Down on the young people. Do what now? Uh, you, you, I ain't gonna say you look down on the young people. You just don't know how to reach out to them, man. You, 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 you castigate the young people. Okay. Um, criticize them. Yes. Um, I'm what now? You got a guy in a different sir, place. sir, oh, sir. Let, let, let me say this to you, then I'm going to hang up on you. Okay. Is the youth that we have in Memphis, Tennessee right now are crazy. They've been drinking out of the same well that you drink out of, brother. Uh, these young people, yes, I look down on our youth now because our youth are not giving us in the community anything to look up to. Hey, you, we look up to y'all as the elders. What do you mean? Okay. Brother, how, brother, how old? Brother, 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 how old are you? Sir, all right, let, let me say this to you. Let me let me say to you because because this conversation is totally left.
that ain't what's mm -hmm. up. Look, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Whatever, mm -hmm. sir, sir, mm -hmm. sir, mm -hmm. sir. Man, mm -hmm. fuck, man, fuck the youth. Fuck the youth. Fuck them. Fuck them and the graveyard that they all want to live in. Fuck them and fuck you too, brother. Mr. Matthews is in the go, brother. Cause see, sir, I I've got good undertakers, good insurance, and hell, they can hire somebody to uh to push my casket, brother. I ain't worried about. Look, man, when I die, y'all don't kill me twice this year. Uh. When I die for real? Shit, I ain't worried about that. Why do we have to go? Do I want to? That's the mystery in life, man. Nobody can figure it out. I don't care how happy you are. Nobody can figure it out. 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 So, yeah, sir, this call is about to end. You done had your... You regulated me with people who are crazy, mentally. Yeah, I mean, you mental. You, you, your, your, your mama dropped you on... Did your mama drop you on your head? Damn, damn Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I don't give a fuck about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, bro. Nothing. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? And if that's your God, that's your God. But you, I, 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 I'm going to say this, I'm going to let you go. Dope kills, brother. Drugs kill. Get off the drugs that you own, brother. Get off them drugs. Quit that fentanyl and openol and all them other alls. Get off that shit, brother. Because it's got you fucked up. It's got you as a black man totally fucked up. You fucked up to the tip power. Hello? Okay. Damn. And y'all wonder why our young folk are crazy. He's somebody's daddy. Y'all need to call the lakeside and see if somebody is has escaped. But man, I'm on Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they did, man. Give a fuck. See, I I, I think about them the same way that people said when they started talking to me about Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King did. He can't go to the mountaintop. He can't look over into the promised land. His ass is dead. Y'all killed him right down there um, at the Lorraine Motel. You've been sniffing something, brother. You've been putting your Clorox under the sink on some ice. S putting a little stirrer in it. You're demented, brother. You... you you, you, you gone, man. You, go, you, you gone. But I thought I'd give you because you just called me. You, you probably called me 30 times.
tells. I've been looking at the phone. But I thought I'd just give you an audience from it. And, and you ain't saying shit. You're just an distraction. Oh, boy, it's, it's been, I've been out in the air. I've been breathing the same air that some of y'all breathe every day. I had to go see my girl, Dr. Tanya Lyons. You know, I told y'all. I went to sleep with my uh, my top plate in the in the bed. Zena loves being in uh, my bed. Caught me sleeping. I woke up. I still had my my lower plate on in. And it was missing. I looked and shook the bed and looked under the floor. I said, Zena, did you get daddy's plate? She looked at me like, mm -mm. But I found it the next day on the steps going downstairs. So I went to see my girl if y'all got any dental problems, go see my girl, Dr. Tanya Lyons Anderson, on Riverdale. So I'm getting me another upper and lower. Them things be constant too. Um, but she'll take care of you. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, you never get anywhere smoking this. What, what was that? Uh, what was that Eugene Crockett? Hmm. Yeah, that you never get anywhere smoking a pipe. What was that? What was that? Uh, Eugene Crockett. Brother, you, you, you will not ever get another chance to talk to me, brother. Um, James Salton, okay, thank you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, 
Yeah. You're never going to get nowhere smoking a pipe. Let, let, me, let me say this. Did I not tell you that Paul Young was going to keep C.J. Davis? I told you that, didn't I? Brother, you can call back as many more times as you want to. I ain't answering you no more. I gave you your opportunity of fame and you blew it. Didn't I tell you that? Mm. I told you. The establishment wants C.J. Davis. Do you think that the establishment gave him a million dollars for nothing? Do you not think that With a million dollars comes some marching orders as well. I told you, I oh, I told you as sure as shit stink, and I know it do. That he was going to keep. C.J. Davis. Hmm. He says that he is comfortable. Mm -hmm. And that she's going to lead us. See if I can, so I can read it directly. I hate it. Oh, he believes in her, but we broke homicides. Ruckus this year. He says, let's see, uh, we've had a number of dialogues over the past couple of months and I feel confident that she can and will be able to lead us into a better space with regards to public safety. That's what he said. That's what he said. In this record year, of homicides in the city. She's going to lead us, what did he say? He, she's going to lead us into a better space with regards to public safety. In the meeting that I was in today with Steve Moroy, I said, General, he's the Attorney General, so I said, General, 
Will you come on the Thaddeus Matthew show? Y'all know that fucked him up, don't you? First of all, I'm sure he was surprised <laughs> to see me then. He was he was there when I got there eating his sandwich. Again, Pastor Floyd, I, I appreciate you, brother. But I asked him loud before everybody, the whole, I didn't get him off to the side and ask him. I said, General, will you come on the Thaddeus Matthews show? I'd have to think about that. What is that to think about, General? Earl Fisher said he probably come with certain criteria. Criteria is you're a public servant. You can't come to me with no uh, uh, criteria. It, it, it ain't about everybody knows and he knows that I didn't support him becoming uh, the DA. But he won't come. This is as he was ex exiting the building, the, the meeting room. Why not? Why won't I get public officials that want to be interviewed by me. Oh, that's right. I ain't going to ask you them bullshit questions. I told him, I, I, I told him when he was talking about what they did last night, is, last week at Snappy Snack the Little Stove in Midtown. I said, man, the problems in that store has been going on for 25 years. As a repo man, I drove my truck all through that area. Crime has been at Madison and Cleveland for years. Dope being sold in Midtown has been going on for years. Come on. Don't be scared to come on my show. I'm not I'm not gonna ask you any questions that you shouldn't know the answer to. Yes, I, I understand, General, that you want to talk about reform and sending uh especially our youth to programs before they get in in trouble. I understand that, but I, I told the general this this morning, this this what well, it was at twelve o'clock. I said I talked to fifty sixty thousand people per week, and 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 ninety five percent of the people that I talked to. Don't give a fuck about reform. They give a shit about being able to go to the store, being able to go to the mailbox, go to the church, go to the work, and coming back and still be alive. Hmm. That's what we care about. We don't care about reforming them. If they mammoths ain't reform them, shit. So I, 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 I threw at him I said, General, there is a law on the books. Call contributing to the 
delinquency of a minor that's already on the book. Why don't you charge parents? So, He tells me in so many words that ain't gonna work. It may make, make things worse. How how does holding parents responsible for the action of their children how does it make the situation worse? I, I, I told I told the general, I said, man, come on the show. I'll come if Pastor Floyd and uh, uh, Dr. Spencer. I said, man, I you know I don't I don't do live. I'm, I, I'll talk to me on the phone. I'm really a nice guy, General. I know that we didn't get off to the fuck off on to fuck the. Uh, Role because I didn't support you. But if we don't start to holding parents responsible, this thing's gonna get worse. If C.J. Davis has not done nothing this year and the records show that we are at the highest point of homicides in the history of the city of Memphis and we have not heard from her, she has not get, given us a, a, a plan, but neither has the new mayor. So you you going to wait to January 1, Paul? To give us some new information? You going to put C.J. Davis, who is already supposed to be leading this city in crime reduction? You going to put her right back in the office? That sounds fucked up to me. That means that somebody don't really want the crime in this city to stop. I, uh, I, I, I when I went by Dr. Uh, Lyon, I left, I had a taste for some rib tips. So I went down to A&R in Hickory Hill to get some rib tips. It was, you know, A&R got a little, little space in that way, yeah parties and stuff in there now. And um, I didn't feel like walking and I didn't feel like getting the cane. So I parked in the fire zone. Not blocking the door, but get out. And there was a couple of young men there. Hey, Dad! I immediately put my hands on my shirt now. I said, man, how you know my name? Oh, man, everybody know you. You be all over social media. But I was uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable as a black man in the company 
of other black men, younger black men, because I'm trained now to think that all young folk and young men that are black are dangerous. But here, here's the thing. Here's the thing with C.J. Davis. And I don't think that there, there is one. I don't think there is one. Let me say it again. I don't think that there is one city councilman or woman to say no, she can't get the job. Because he makes the appointment but the city council has to accept his appointment. If the city council can't get the necessary votes for C.J. Davis, she can't get the job. But I think they all been in the back room by now. Here's I'm I'm gonna make another prediction. I, I yeah, I d I don't already want with that prediction. Here's a prediction that I predict council members to say. Remember on the fourteenth day of December, this is what I said. Here's what council members are going to say. Council members are going to say, well, he know who he wants to work with. And he stated that he wanted to work with her. That we as a council went with that because he know who he want to work with. have a council member that has the balls balls big enough clip juicy enough to question Paul Young. Mm. Michael Bender, what, what, why the fuck you calling me? I don't want to talk to you. I'm not opening up the phone line. So get off my motherfucking phone. We are in terrible shape in Memphis. 
it is not going to get any better. See, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how many more of Strickland in appointees stay there. I'm going to tell you somebody else that's going to stay there. Sugar, sugar, stinking. I know it do. McGowan. Over the Memphis like gas and water. They're going to keep him too. Michael B Bender. God damn, motherfucker. Damn. Shit. Motherfucker, I don't want to talk to you. See, you, you wonder why they didn't wait until the new council comes in on January 1. They had people that was already bought and paid for on this present council. I guess they ain't got no utility bills. Poor folk, utilities bills finna go up 4% for the next three years. Come on. But this is the people that you wanted in office. You wanted Paul Young. You didn't want a Willie Harrington. Michael Bender, I'm about to block your number out of my phone. Nothing is about to change. See, I know white folk listen to me too. Ain't nothing gonna change for you, white folk. These niggas finna start coming into your communities, white folk. These niggas that's robbing and killing and carjacking, they finna start staking out in the white community. show you how much these niggas don't care. Y'all come out yesterday with y'all gonna put some dogs in city gear. Niggas show you they don't give a fuck. They went in Hiblets last night. Hiblets own city gear. You better put some bulletproof vests on them damn dogs. Because, see, here's what you did. You fucked up and told them y'all gonna get some dogs. So don't you think these idiotic Negroes in Memphis fit to prepare 
to kill the dogs. Hello, somebody. A bullet will stop a dog. Them Dracos. 30 shots in what? Six or seven seconds? They gonna kill them damn dogs. If you had been smart, Y'all wouldn't have told the niggas y'all gonna have some dogs. And then show the dogs on TV. So what's gonna happen now? The niggas ain't gonna stop stealing. They just gonna be prepared for the dogs. Them dogs should be dead. Them dogs, y'all need to turn my show on in the place where they keep the dogs at. Dogs, y'all need to bite y'all motherfucking owners in them places. Because they couldn't put your little lives in danger. If these niggas don't give a damn about killing each other in the streets, what the fuck you think they care about a goddamn dog? They gonna kill them dogs. They're going to kill them dogs. They, they're going to still hit city gear, country gear, out of town gear, any gear that they want to. And they're going to have some special folk with them, with them machine guns to kill the dogs. Then I read, when they hit Hiblets, the gods went to the bathroom. Did y'all read that? The gods said they took five minutes and went to the bathroom and when they came back, the place had been broken into. I keep telling you, and, and, and more Roy said it the other day, that this is organized. Y'all better get some life insurance on the dog. Y'all better get, what's that name, uh, that Lofton be on, Jonathan Lofton on, Colonial. You better get them dogs some Colonial. Because it's going to be some dead dogs in the city. And see, here's what y'all gonna do. Y'all gonna put dogs in the in the places, and the dog gonna be the dog. Run, 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 run. The robbers gonna know that they there. Saying right, I, I I agree with you. I believe that there are a uh, police officers. That's in on it too. Mm -hmm. Y'all 
Ain't nothing fitting to get better. Ain't nothing about to get better. Nothing. I got 11 hours remaining in Facebook jail. Mm. They had when they walked into uh, the Regents Bank. If you're going to smash and grab, go where the money at. Okay? Go where the money at. Ronnie D, I agree with you. Nothing is organized without city officials being involved. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. Let me take care of some business and then I'm gonna come back. I got some sh I got some more shit to say. You know, we're talking about the police director staying there. It's been at least two murders while I've been on the air the last hour. Will we make it to Christmas? Man was shot, shot to death Thursday afternoon in South Memphis. Responded about 5.15 to a shooting on the 1900 block of South 3rd. And found a man had died. Police said that a 40-year-old man got into a dispute with three people inside a convenience store before he was shot and killed. Three suspects took off after the gunfire. I was trying to see if I recognize this store. <sighs> then, or a man died and another one was injured after a shooting Thursday afternoon. in the 800 block of Laurel in Orange Mound. But we're going to keep the police director.
ها Well, what we want to have to do, I'm going to have to, uh, across the street from Southgate Shopping Center, Southgate by Belts, okay, across the street, okay. See if I was the mayor, but I'm not. Even if I was comfortable with CJ as the mayor, hmm. she couldn't have the child. She couldn't have the job. Couldn't, oh, she, I'll put somebody else in there just because I know that the, the sentiment of the city is that they don't want them. She ain't gonna interview with me. Strickland gave her orders not to. So we know she ain't gonna do it now. But y'all didn't want Willie Harrison. Because her ass would have been gone. We'd have a go following me to get her U-Haul truck. They were going to put some dogs. <laughs> to stop the smash of grabs. Ain't going to work. Johnson. Perhaps I just came over here a long time. You done shed some pants. Looking good. Oh, she met pounds. Because I was trying to figure out how you do it. I wouldn't I didn't have to know how to talk. Uh, nothing is about to change in Memphis. And what she make? $300,000 a year. She makes more money than the mayor. McGowan, you better not find that white man. They already told him, you better not find him. McGowan gonna keep his job now. The excuse, let me give you the excuse for McGowan. He working on it. He working on it. He, he working on the Memphis Light Gas Wallet. 
See, here's a question that we need to ask Memphis like Gads and Wall. How much money you get in the coffers of this city on utility company? It, it, it's a multi-billion dollar corporation. How many billions do you have that could have been used instead of hiking the utilities up? Those of us that live in the county don't live in the city of Memphis proper. We pay utility bills too, but we ain't got no lights in the county. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even think we got no drainage system out here in the county. No one ain't got no lights, no poles, and all that stuff, but we pay utility bills. I got a utility bill down there now over five hundred dollars. Let's hmm. see, I. I, I really like to hear Paul Young's real reason for holding on to C.J. Davis. Oh, he gonna hold on to uh, McGowan. Mm -hmm. All right, let me take care of some business. And don't y'all go nowhere. I'll be right back. Help! My money is dying. I need a medic stat. The Money Medics are here to help you save your hard-earned money using the new type of life insurance that you can use and enrich yourself and your family before you die. It gives you cash to cover expenses even if you can't work due to a major sickness or you are hurt in a car accident, listen to what they have to say. We offer the new type of life insurance that you can use while you're still living. In the event that you have a heart attack, stroke, cancer, end-stage renal disease, get shot, get stabbed, third-degree burns, lose a limb, break a leg, break a and have to be off work more than 90 days i'm in a bad car wreck anything where you have to be off work for more than three months it will pay while you're still living and it also comes with that death benefit so your family's able to bury you call 662-483-0494 662-483-0494 grab your pen and write this number down right now 662-483-0494 and tell them that the Thaddy Bear told you to call them. Call them right now, 662-483-0494. For many years, Norman Ray Red Wing Jr. has fought to mentor and to save the youth of North Memphis. Now, he started the African Village Institute located at 1225 Valentine Street in North Memphis. They're open Monday through Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 3.30. The mission is to educate and empower young people to see themselves and ultimately to become productive citizens of their communities, their country, and the world. 
the African Village gift shop and bookstore is open daily for your holiday and Kwanzaa needs. Pastor Red Wing says, this ministry is all about family and work to educate our children. Norman also states, we don't do this for money, but we need it to do it. In fact, you can purchase five gallons of liquid detergent in time and gain for just $70 to help this ministry. You can also purchase all types of African products, such as beautiful African coffee mugs, umbrellas, jewelry, African art and accessories, incense, African clothing, t-shirts, and all types of assorted gift cards, and much, much more. The African Village Universal Institute, located again at 1225 Valentine Avenue in North Memphis, close to the old Northside High School. Go by for your African need and to support this ministry that is there to mentor and educate young people. See Norman Red Wing and help our community and our children. Hello, I'm Tanya Jones, developer and still full owner of On Demand Pain Relief Rub. It's exciting and humbling to see how On Demand is growing and evolving while still being the same product you trust, purchased, and love. The pain rub is 100% still the same, 100% drug free, 100% all natural, and I am 100% still involved. I created On Demand Pain Relief Rub after I began suffering with my own chronic pain. And yes, the results have been amazing. You may see the new branding, the new look, and the new website, all coming from me, the same person that has a heart to help others deal with their chronic pain. Go ahead, place your order, or stop by any of the locations to pick up yours. I thank you so much for your support and trust. I am Tanya Jones, 100% owner of On Demand Pain Relief Rub. Are you in Tennessee or Mississippi? but you have debt or financial problems and you don't understand insurance and its benefits and no one has ever taken the time to fully explain to you how to deal with finance and insurance, well, you need to call Esperanza Lindsay Bell, who's a financial strategist with real life benefits. Esperanza can give you information that will change your life. Esperanza is here to educate the community on opportunities to plan for the future. She will take time to explain the differences between three types of life insurance and ways to maximize your benefits. Don't allow your family to be a part of the next GoFundMe campaign or fish dinner sale. Provide your family the security in knowing they will be provided for in the case of an emergency or death. Social security will not be enough to live off of. You must start saving today. Esperanza will also share information on the next level on savings by investing in annuities for the future. Call Esperanza Lindsay Bell at 901 Two six five zero one zero two. If you are in Tennessee or Mississippi, call Miss Bell right now with real life benefits. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Tommy Shaw with Shaw House Buyers. I want to buy your Memphis area house in as-is condition today. I buy houses, duplexes, apartments, commercial buildings, and land. I pay cash and pay all of your closing costs. Call Tommy Shaw now at 901-380-1000. Or visit me online at shawhousebuyers.com. The best time to do something that you know you have to do is right now. Yeah, so if you got a house you're trying to get rid of, call Shaw House Values, 901-380-1000. And you ain't got to call more real estate. You're going to take care of all the closing and pay your cash. Okay? All right, I am back. What time is it? Ooh, 8.26. Ladies and gentlemen, another murder just came in. Okay? Another murder just came in. Man was killed after shooting Thursday night in the Memphis neighborhood of Westwood. According to the Memphis Police Department, officers responded about 6.45 p.m. to a shooting on Soapstone Drive, just south of uh, West Levi Road, and found a man had been shot. He died at the home. MPD said that the suspect, who was known to the victim, took off after the shooting. No other details were released. That's three today. Three. I told you that we would be at 400 by the end of the year. I don't even know what the number is right now. Whew. That's the reason I stay out the way. And um, that's what you need to do. Stay out of the way. Like I said, I went out today, first time this week. It might be this time next week before I go again. I stay out of your way. I'm I'm not even comfortable around a whole lot of black folk. That's bad. I mean, really, that's, that is sad. That you have to say, I'm not even comfortable around that black folk. It is so much destruction. There's so much evilness. So much jealousy. So much anger. There is no hope. Many of you who voted for Paul Young, you will soon be wishing for the man that you said was too old, had been there before. We needed some new blood.
for hopeless. I don't see any hope for the city of Memphis. I'm sorry, man. I I, I don't see any. There is no way out through the Trey Nichols incident. Alpha we hit rocket numbers of homicides. Who in their right mind would keep CJ Davis. Who doesn't speak to the community? Who has not spoken to this community? Hasn't given us any hope. Hasn't given us a plan. Y'all said I was crazy. Oh, some of y'all talked about me, especially some of you young motherfuckers. When I said white folk gave him a million dollars, this nigga that came up out of nowhere. They give him a million dollars. See, some of y'all are silly enough to believe that we are living in a new age and white folk ain't still buying niggas. Niggas are still on the auction block. A million dollars will buy a good nigga. My gown is going to stay there. I'm going to tell you something else that's going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to have a profit after a while. You're going to see within the next 60 90 days. You want to hear about development downtown. You hear me? You want to hear
Yeah, north side. I told you about north side over ten years ago. I told you when it first started happening, when developers start buying up property in North Memphis. I told you about it. I told you about it. I told you about that over, over 10 years ago. I told you, I told you about the developers, the out of town money that was buying up property in Klondike. You didn't think they was buying a property in Klondike. Northside is, the building of Northside High School is not the last building. Okay? It's not the last building. But this is what someone just wrote, you never see CJ at no crime scene. She always had a damn little school or a police luncheon. Be so skinny, she always somewhere eating it. Oh, Lord. And Paul Norman got his ministry right across the street. From the old north side building. And can't and can't get any help in North Memphis. Yeah, they're gonna put it. Positive eyes I told it about ten years ago. This didn't just start. They were all down through, uh, I can't think of that name, that runs straight into a uh, north side. I uh, can't think of that name. They bought a lot of houses in that area. Out of town. Money.
The only thing that's going to stop these kids from stealing these cars is a bullet. Mm. Yeah. That's the only thing that's going to stop this stealing, killing, and carjacking. The dogs ain't going to do it. Huh? I'm going to tell you that now. You're going to get these poor dogs killed. You're going to have the animal rights people coming into Memphis. Because y'all putting to put the dogs in danger. If I was 10, 15, 20 years younger, man, I'd be so up out of Memphis. Like I said, like I said about 10 minutes ago, you talk about putting the dogs in city gear, they said, fuck you. They went in Hiblitz last night. Hiblitz owns City Gear. They're going to kill your dogs. Whoever owns the dogs, you need to keep breeding your dogs. Memphis has become the most terrible place in the country to live in. We are in a but I ain't but one one dog that I'm worried about and that's Zena. And I'm about to battle her outright. It's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. And anybody that's got good sense, you scared to live in the city of Memphis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they, they'll get time for killing the dog. They will get more time for killing the dog when they, than they will a nigga. And white folk that watch me, and I know some intelligent white people watch me, because when white people want to know what's going on in Memphis, they keep up with me. They're going to deputize them dogs, make them police officers, so that when you kill a dog, you don't kill the police officer. Watch me. Watch me. I'm so tired of talking about crime every night, but what else are we going to talk about? It's going on. How can I keep you informed if I don't talk about it and tell you what is going on in the city? I 
I was telling my friend Eric Dunn, who wants to open up a, a funeral home in Frazier, man, it's, it's, it's a proper location. Let me help you get you some business. Shit. That's the growing business right now. Funeral homes and cemeteries. Lord, how right now y'all went out to the out to the Bellevue Baptist Church. Thank you. I ain't got nothing but the I ain't got the story. Y'all going out? See, y'all niggas went just crazy now. Wait a minute. Police said three male suspects. They got your picture. The Memphis Police Department reported that 10 calls were burglarized on Sunday morning at the Bellevue Baptist Church during its Christmas performance. Police said three male suspects were in a stolen black 2016 BMW X6 when they broke into the cars, but they left the car at the Grizzly Mark gas station and drove off in a gray Mercedes sedan. According to PMPD, the driver of the vehicle was wearing a gray jacket and blue jeans. The second suspect was wearing a black jacket and black pants. The third suspect was believed to be armed wearing a red and black Nike hoodie and black pants. So y'all gonna quit y'all gonna keep on fucking with the white folk? Okay? Y'all gonna keep on Fucking with them white folk. Y'all done went out the, to the car plays and stole your two Corvettes. Y'all can't get happy on Sunday mornings no more. You can't shout without looking out the window. These politicians don't care about who you want in office. It's about them. And when Paul Young accepted one million dollars from the white folk, they told him what you got to do. Y'all can't keep on robbing the good white people. It's soon gonna come Open season on a nigga. You know, like the white folk go duck hunting and uh, what, what else? Deer hunting. Yeah, you know, you know, white folk, white folk love the duck hunt. Quack, 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 quack. They like to shoot the ducks out the air. The white folk like to shoot the deer. See, the white folk didn't care as long as y'all stayed in South Memphis and North Memphis and Westwood and Orange around Hickory Hill killing. But now y'all want to go fuck with the white folk at the white folk church with the three crosses in the air. Shit. Quit fucking with the white folk. God damn it! Shit! Hey, Zena. I 
keep trying to tell y'all. But y'all want it? Paul, y'all, God damn it, you got it. What's his plan on crime? What's uh, C.J. Uh, Davis' plan? Oh, ain't there. Didn't nobody want to listen to me. I know Doc laying, sitting back laughing at you motherfuckers. I don't blame him. He gonna have bodyguards walking around Memphis. His mama gonna have bodyguards. He, that church that his mama pastor in the Oak Haven area, gonna have police watching it. But you niggas that voted for his ass. You'll protect me, won't you, Zeno? <laughs> We're in trouble. We in trouble. All right, I, uh, 853. Yeah, queer, they are here robbing the white people. White people ain't gonna take this shit now. You niggas been taking that shit. But y'all ain't gonna be able to keep on fucking with them white peoples. White people, if you're... If you blow the head off of a nigga, <laughs> kill that motherfucker. If one of these black ass motherfuckers come up on you, shoot that motherfucker. And the line is, I, I feared for my life. And we all do. We all do living in the city of Memphis. We all fear for our life. If you enjoy the Thaddeus Matthew show, send me a little something. So I give me, give me a Christmas present. Cause I can't go to the, can't go to the mall. Cause colors at the mall. Can't go, can't go to the mall. Uh -uh. Dollar sign naked truth ministries. I'll be out of Facebook jail in the morning. It's like I need to go back to the 10 o'clock show or the 1015 show. Because I'll be on the radio at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
Bill Cosby fears for his life and canceled his comedy tour after Dave Chappelle was attacked. Now, Memphis, Tennessee. Wow, you want them dead? Yes, Corey Williams. I want the motherfuckers dead. Yes, white folk. You got my okay to kill a nigga that's trying to rob you, carjacking you, trying to break in your house. Yes, kill the nigga. Do I need to start the kill the nigga campaign? The good white people couldn't even have their little Christmas plate. Excuse me. Corey Williams, you don't want to kill him? You must be the robber man. Your cousin, your brother, nephew, or you. Alright, join me on the radio in the morning. Six until ten. And then if I feel like it, ten o'clock, ten fifteen, ten twenty, I'll do it on Facebook. I'll be at a Facebook jail about about seven o'clock in the morning. Well, yes, Corey, I'm giving the white people the okay to kill a nigga. The nigga ain't no damn good nowhere. He should have been a motherfucking abortion. Or a nut shot against the tree. A shot in the goddamn grass. Fucking it. If you wanna know.